everybody. W here. <laughs> I'm at the range. I got Grandpa's 03. It's a sporterized. It was a 03A3. Now it's a sporterized Springfield with a replacement barrel on it. And uh, this was done in the 50s by a gunsmith that he he chose. He drilled it and tapped it. He drilled it and tapped it for sights. It's got a barrel band front sight, Lyman, and a Williams rear sight. It's put on backwards. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Um, but it's got a Bishop stock on it, Walnut Bishop stock, styled to the day, to the period. It's got a pretty short length of pull. Now, Grandpa was a big man. He was 6'4", 6'3". But he, uh, he also liked heavy clothes and it was cold when we hunted. So he had this cut down so that he was not encumbered by heavy clothing when he was hunting. And I've showed this on the channel before. It's, it's a really nice rifle. And uh, it, it's given me the best accuracy I've ever gotten out of a cast bullet at 100 yards of any rifle that I own. And when, when he had it, it had a, a Bushnell 1 to 4. It was probably made in the 60s. Had a post reticle in it. And I love the post reticle. But when I started shooting the gun, it shot very well. Obviously, I said it. Oop, that it shot. It shot under, under an inch. It, it was a comma. Five shots. This bullet, I'll tell you the load in a minute. Five shots. It was about eh, maybe a little more than half an inch, maybe five eighths of an inch, but it was a comma. All the bullets touched, and it just made a little comma. And uh, let's see if I can find that target and, and roll it in here. I'll just stop you here for a second. I'll roll that target in right here. Okay. That's the that's the load, the bullet, the target everything that I shot on that day. It's, uh, it's warm here for January, but it's still cold. Probably. You know, it might be 40. But we've had, we've had a lot of rain, and we had pretty warm yesterday. It killed all the snow. We had it four inches or so, and it killed it overnight. And it's been really foggy, and that's what we got now. Foggy, overcast. If the sun would come out, we'd probably hit the mid-40s, but they're calling for like 42, 43. Uh, it's kind of just wet and dreary. It's not really raining, but it's uh, it's kind of pretty. Anyway, back to the gun. So the scope wasn't great <clears throat> when I started adjusting, because obviously cast bullets are hitting a different point of impact. So I had to adjust on the on the turrets quite a bit, and just like is really common with those old scopes, they they don't hold up well. They they kind of Set in their ways, kind of like us when we get old, you know. And uh, it was ornery. It didn't want to, didn't want to uh, move. It didn't want to hold. And then it would jump. I think it probably would have settled in. And I didn't throw it away. But I set it aside. <coughs> I don't believe they're doing any repairs on those anymore. It's an old Bushnell. I don't really want it replaced. I, I want the scope. I had two of them, and I sent one of them in to be repaired hmm, five, six years ago. And they kept it and sent me a new scope, and that's not what I want. I want his scope. Um, I think I could make it work. It just would take a lot of playing around to let it, let it move really slow. Just think of a congealed stuff in there, and it just doesn't, it moves really spongy. And, uh, you know, heavy recoil will jar it until it gets to its setting. And once it gets to its setting, I think it would hold. So <laughs> I'm counting on that if I ever use it. So I threw a, a six power weaver on here that I had. It was a really good solid scope. Pretty much because it was all I had that would fit with this old style rings. And it's, it's a tip over base and ring set. 
<clears throat> so I didn't really want to change that. I want to keep it as much the way he had it as I, as I can. But I'm upgrading the scope. And uh, I liked it, but it was just a fixed six power. I picked up a couple new scopes in the past few months, and this one came off another rifle. This was on, I don't know if it's on my Whalen or on my 358, but it was not being used. So I said, ooh, that's long. That might be that might be long enough for the action, and it's it's going to be a good scope. It's a, it's a Nikon Monarch. Six to no two and a half to ten, I think. Anyway, it's it's a Nikon scope, and it's it's a pretty nice one, matte finished, and I thought it would be nice on this rifle. So that's where we are now. So last night I loaded up, I completely prepped twenty cases. These are once fired Federal Fusions, and uh, primed it with an RCBS primer. Filled it with 2400, well, 2400 charge of powder and 180 grain RCBS 180 grain flat nose. And this is what shot really good in this before, so let's hope. It's a gas check bullet. It's, I think I chronographed it at 1500 or so. So it's not cooking along, but it's, it's a, it's a nice load. So let's, uh, Let's see what we get here. Now this is uh, not been sighted in yet. So I just bore sighted this, pulling the bolt out, looking through the barrel and adjusting the turrets. So let's see what we get here. Uh, I'll take a shot, <clears throat> see where it is. And then I'll probably put you in speedy mode if I've got a lot of adjusting to do. So let's see what we get here. Turn the power up, 10 power or so. I've got a couple of bullet holes down there, but that's all right. It's not going to affect us. And let's see what we get here. Oh, I got a, I got a level on this one. That's good. All right, I'm zeroed. And here we go. Let's see if I can figure out which which bullet hole is which. Oh, I'm set up at 100 yards. Let me move this back to 50. Swing it over here to 50. Lock it in and adjust the focus. See if I can find our bullet hole. Let's zoom out because I can't see it on the target. Okay, there we are. Bottom right corner. <clears throat> So we have to come up, up about six and over about six. So let me put you in speedy mode and see what we can do. Okay, <clears throat> about three shots and we were sighted. <laughs> I moved out to 100 and I fired three. Fired three at 100 and uh, pretty much should have it zeroed. So let's, uh, let's see if this magazine will cooperate. It, it needs a new follower. That's why it needs a new follower. It's a... Uh, hope I can still get these I'm pretty sure they're available it's been it's been worked on a few times and that first bullet doesn't want to stay all the time after the first one it's fine it's just that very first bullet and sometimes when you get to the last round you open the bolt and it just comes out so it's kind of uh, kind of annoying but it's fixable all right so let's uh Let's get positioned up here pretty solid and see if we can't make <coughs> just a three shot group.
just a three shot group down there. Let's see. All right, bottom right of the right hand, bottom left of the right hand target. Place and square. You get a good <coughs> seating position here. For some reason, my knees are bashing into the bench here, and I don't like it. All right. Bottom right. It's an inch and a half spot. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. One. Just a little bit blunt for feeding. Oh, it looks like I punched a pimple. Great smack dab in the middle of my target. Isn't that nice? Here comes another one. Careful so this doesn't come flying out. And here's the last one. I can't tell. I can't quite tell. This doesn't have a speed focus on it. It could be right alongside it, but it could be... It could be outside too. My bubble level working. I'm going to put a better bubble on this. I'm really liking the monstrum bubbles that I've been putting on. I just found them on sale. All right, last one, here we go. I didn't follow through very good there. And I've, I don't have a very good group, so let's throw two more at it. I've got two of them side by side, but one of them's about an inch away. So let's uh, let's make it a five shot pattern and, and eat up these last last two shells here. All right, let's settle in here and see if I can make this a nice. Remove human error from this equation. Yeah, anyway, Monstrum makes a really nice bubble. And I've been buying them for 20 bean sprouts on Amazon. But I found them on clearance at Monstrum for five bucks a pop. I'll show you in another video. All right, here we go. It didn't pop up on me, but I didn't lose it. All right, last shot. Here we go. Just a really nice load. Usually shoots really well, but it's a lot up to the bullets. And I got one flyer about two inches out. Other than that, it's pretty good. All right, that's it for the Springfield. I will show you the target. And we'll move on to another rifle.
Oh, let me show you the, the mount here. Pretty cool, huh? Let's you to use the iron sights should something happen to your scope. Yet it snaps back on. Very solid and it holds zero. Just grab it and roll it over. Just like that. Works really well. Very slick. And there we go. Give you a quick once over of the rifle. Let's see. Let me put you on pause here. Hold okay, on. here's the rifle. Nice classic style rollover cheek piece for the day. Black cap, white spacer, white outline spacer. It's got a swing swing safety on it. There's the ring clips for the bottom of the rings. There's the backwards rear sight. Black foreign cap with a white outline spacer. 24 inch barrel, ivory bead, Lyman banded front sight. Here's the scope. Here's the other side. Just a pretty rifle, not, not gorgeous, but just a pretty rifle. It does have an aftermarket trigger in it, but it's not a name brand. It's probably a reworked aftermarket or, or reshoed. I'm sorry, re, the trigger itself that you touch is new. The assembly is probably all original. And there's the other side of the gun. And down there is 50 and all the way out behind it, just to the left is 100 where we were shooting. All right, let me get down there for you and show you what we did. All right, everybody, let's see how this 30 caliber did. Now, I got a lot of holes out here, but this bottom left corner here is the, the last five we took with that Springfield. And that one nearly dead center is the first shot. And then I don't know the order, but out here is one of the flyers and that's two and a half inches away. That's not too good, but that's probably a bullet, and not me. So that's not too bad. That's a little over an inch, not counting that one, but that's about what this gun will do. Average, it'll do better if I do better making the bullets. So there we go. All right. God bless everybody. CW out.